Hello everyone and welcome to the 2022 Royal Oak Memorial Day Parade. My name is Andy Aubrey and we welcome you to this wonderful annual event in downtown Royal Oak. I found something on the Disabled American Veterans website, DAV.org, which I think sums up the reason for today. And it said, opportunity, legacy, duty, purpose, and patriotism. The reasons behind choosing military service differ from person to person, but as varied as the reasons are, there's a universal understanding. Service means sacrifice, even if that sacrifice is one's own life. And I think that sums up the reason for today. We're here to honor those fallen military soldiers who are worked so tirelessly so that we may enjoy the freedoms we do here in this great country. So let's get the parade started. And as is tradition, the opening of the parade is the Royal Oak Police Department and Fire Department. That's Chief Moore there. And terrific cities care about low crime rates, which is why Royal Oak is consistently named as one of the happiest and best places to live in America. This is the first Memorial Day Parade for Chief Moore. Chief Moore was named the top cop in 2021. Walking with him is Chief Captain Hegerberg of the Fire Department. And following the police, we will see the Royal Oak Police Department Honor Guard Honor Guard there, following the police vehicle. Royal Oak Honor Guard uh, serves as the official representation of the police department's commitment to respect the service of any police officer who has fallen, both active or retired, and the families they've left behind. The Honor Guard also represents the department at ceremonies, parades, dedications, special events, or any other occasion designated by the Chief of Police. There you see Chief Moore and Captain Hegerberg. Following the Chief and Captain is the Royal Oak Fire Department and their wonderful new fire truck. The Royal Oak Fire Department is committed to providing the highest quality fire protection to the Royal Oak residents. And following the fire truck, we have our Grand Marshal for today's parade. Our Grand Marshal this year is Technical Sergeant Anthony Carter, who was the recipient of the Air Force Commendation Medal. He's a Royal Oak High School graduate and is currently a member of the Royal Oak Police Department, too. Next up is the Michigan World War II Legacy Memorial. It is the officially recognized by the state as its tribute to Michigan's contributions during World War II. The memorial honors Michigan residents who served in the armed forces and on the home front during World War II. The memorial is located at 13 Mile and Woodward and broke ground on April the 7th. And we have many Royal Oak veterans also marching in our parade today. The Royal Oak Memorial Day Parade welcomes all vets and thanks them for their service. The Military Vehicle Preservation Association is the uh, medical vehicle you see there. And then following them is the Royal Canadian Legion Post Number 84. Canadian Legion Maple Leaf Post 84 was founded in 1935 as a non-profit service organization by members of the Canadian Legion and the British Empire Service League. Following them is our friend Sheriff Bouchard. Sheriff Michael Bouchard is the longest serving sheriff in the state of Michigan. He's been serving the residents of Oakland County since 1999. And their 1.2 million 
residents. There's the sheriff waving to the masses. You can see Sheriff Bouchard out. Hope to run into him later in the Beverly Hills Parade. He's just mainstay at both. Sheriff Bouchard always brings along all of his vehicles, motorcycles. There's the dive team vehicle. Following the Oakland County Sheriff is the Ezra Parker chapter of the DAR, Daughters of the American Revolution. They promote patriotism, historic preservation, and education. And some of their members today, you'll see, are wearing colonial clothing. There's the DAR, folks. vehicle is a 1948 Super Deluxe Plymouth. Doug and Lynn Martens are riding in the Plymouth behind the DAR folks. Following the DAR is the Sedan Kansas Volunteer Department. It's a vintage fire truck from 1978. It's called a Han Pumper Truck. It was retired in 2014 from many years of service to the town of Sedan, Kansas. Overall, the fire truck provided 36 years of service to three different fire departments, beginning in 1978 with the East Lebanon, Pennsylvania Fire Department. Coming down the way next is the Royal Oak High School Marching Band. They've proudly represented our city and school in the Memorial Day Parade for decades. They're committed to public service and to honor those who have served and those currently serving. The Raven Marching Band plays at all home football games, festivals, invitationals, and throughout the year at community events. And I wanted to mention that Peter Merton, who's a trombone player in the band, has just received his acceptance to West Point and he was sponsored by Andy Levins. Since 1902, the Royal Oak Women's Club has been dedicated to improving the community through volunteer service. I invite you to learn more about them at rowc.org. And you see after the Royal Oak Women's Club is the Royal Oak Lions Club. Club for 95 years has been providing donations and service to local charities, especially Leader Dogs for the Blind in Rochester, where they've donated at least $5,000 annually for many years. They've also been ringing bells annually for the local Salvation Army Red Kettle Drive for over 50 years. And following the Lions is the Royal Oak Optimist Club. 
Borlok Optimist, or a local service club, whose motto is the friend of youth. They're active in the community with youth-oriented activities such as oratorical and essay contests, TriStar Basketball, Junior Golf Qualifying Tournament, Youth Appreciation Awards, and Safety on Wheels. They also sell by Carmel helmets for $10 at various events in and around Borlo. And that, uh, we've seen the Detroit Elks, Lodge 34. members and friends, as well as the Royal Oak Historical Commission, who oversees, preserves, and provides tours to the Historical Orson Star House, built in 1845 by a cowbell maker named Orson Star. Following the Royal Oak Historical Commission is the Royal Oak Area Democratic Club. In the crew with the Royal Oak Democrats, of course, Jim Ellison, longtime mayor of the city of Royal Oak. Mallory McMorrow with the Democrats there. They represent and support citizens in Royal Oak, Clawson, and the neighboring area. They work to provide information about candidates and issues. Here's the Democratic Club. And Mallory around shaking hands. Royal Oak Children's Choir. They're a performing group of students in grades three through seven, and these young singers also focus on dancing, acting, public speaking, confidence building, and more in their rehearsals. They perform all year round in the Oakland County area, and the end of each year has a performance-based trip. And this year, they'll be heading to the Music in the Parks competition at Cedar Point. Following the children's choir is Congressman Andy Levin. And Andy has brought his father along today. You see Sander Levin there in the front seat of the GMC truck. Of course, Sander long represented this area. He was a mainstay in these parades along with his brother Carl. And when Carl was a state senator, and Sander always good to come back, see his friends and constituents in the Royal Oak area. He's Pass the baton off to his son Andy now, who is somewhere in that mix behind the truck. Good to see Sander. Got that distinctive look. He's happy to be here. Andy there, Andy Levin. Friendly folks here today. Dave Coulter, Oakland County Executive, part of that mix. And following Dave Coulter's Dave Woodward. Dave Woodward, the Oakland County Commissioner, is the chairman of the Oakland County Board of Commissioners, which is the governing body for the county. And then following Andy Levin is State Representative Helena Scott. She's the representative for District 7. And uh, she's been out here handing out flowers and American flags to those in attendance here. It's Dave Woodward there. Scott vehicle. These parades are nothing if not a great opportunity to get out and 
meet with the constituents, shake hands, and do all those things that increase your popularity. Next up is Matthew Denotter and his crew, which includes a dog. Matthew wants everyone to know that we honor those today who have made the greatest sacrifice. Let's remember our fallen service members with pride this Memorial Day. Following Matthew is U.S. Representative Haley Stevens. Congresswoman Stevens is the champion for manufacturing, innovation, and education. She's looking forward to earning your vote on August 2nd. There's Haley in the red, waving. And following Haley Stevens is the Moms Demand Action for Gun Sense in America. This is the Oakland Macomb County chapter. And these moms are marching today to bring awareness to lives lost in America to gun violence and the efforts to decrease it. up were the drum messengers. We've had them in our parade for years. That's Mike Rayner and Rob Schneider. They're honored once again, marching their hometown parade. Mike Rayner, the one playing snare drum there, is a veteran of the 21st Army Band from 1963 to 65. And his nephew, Rob Schneider, joins him on the bass drum. Both of them are seen performing regularly with the music messengers and other community bands. And then we've got Cub Scouts. We always have Cub Scouts. This is Pack 1631 from Royal Oak. And they're joined by Boy Scouts of America Troop 1610, both chartered by the First Congressional Church of Royal Oak. And they meet at Oak Ridge Elementary School. And then there's the baseball team, the Wahoo Baseball Club of Royal Oak, the 1860s style barehanded baseball team play at Star JC Park after the parade. And they feature the Wahoos as well as the Canton Corn Shuckers and the Detroit Franklins. Following them, the Wahoo Baseball Club is the Michigan Mission Barbecue Truck. And that they want you to know is a deuce and a half military truck. Following them, Pack 1604. That's uh, Adams Elementary Cub Scout Pack Cub Scouts waving their flags. Beautiful day here in Royal Oak. Just gorgeous weather. Then, following the Cub Scouts, we have Four Corners Montessori Academy. Four Corners Montessori is a public Montessori Academy serving children ages three to five. It's a tuition-based preschool. Grades K through eight are tuition-free. Four Corners offers a Montessori curriculum that works to align with the common core standards while adhering to a strong Montessori philosophy 
grounded in a deep respect for children as individuals. And there you see one of the new Ford Mach-E electric vehicles. That's EDF Action. They are promoting climate awareness with that electric vehicle. And we're getting pretty close to the end as we have, we see Melissa Baring there. And Melissa's strumming along on her guitar. We also, let's not forget, USA National Miss Michigan Royalty and USA National Miss. There they are, waving to the crowd. They got the good waves going. And finally, the Royal Oak Ford F-150 pickup truck, which signifies the end of our parade. And they go quickly, but uh, it's been an absolute pleasure to bring this parade to you as it is each year. I want to take a moment to thank our director, Richard Wilson, who is in charge of this broadcast. We've got Jim Nelson turning the dials inside the truck today. And it's just been an absolute pleasure as it always is, and you see the wonderful people out here in Royal Oak, great city to be in, live, raise children, raise families, and uh, it's a real honor to be a part of this broadcast for you folks. So with that, we're going to wrap it up and say we hope to see you again next year for the 2023 version of the Royal Oak Memorial Day Parade. This has been Andy Aubrey reporting, and thank you so much for watching.